The Source of All Hope by Dr. Neil Anderson Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, the help of my countenance, and my God, Psalm 43 verse 5. Sometimes the depression resulting from a seemingly impossible situation is related to a wrong concept of God. David wrote, How long, O Lord? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Psalm 13 verses 1 and 2 Had God really forgotten David? Was he actually hiding from David? Of course not. David had a wrong concept of God, feeling that he had abandoned him to the enemy. David believed a lie about God, and consequently he lost his focus. His situation seemed hopeless, and hopelessness is the basis for all depression. But the remarkable thing about David is that he didn't stay in the dumps. He evaluated his situation and realized, Hey, I'm a child of God. I'm going to focus on what I know about him, not on my negative feelings. From the pit of his depression he wrote, I trust in your unfailing love, my heart rejoices in your salvation, Psalm 13 verse 5. Then he decided to make a positive expression of his will, I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me, verse 6. He willfully moved away from his wrong concept and its accompanying depression and returned to the source of his hope. If Satan can destroy your belief in God, you will lose your source of hope. But with God all things are possible. He is the source of all hope. You need to learn to respond to hopeless appearing situations as David did, Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why are you disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise Him, the help of my countenance, and my God, Psalm 43 verse 5. If Satan can't destroy your concept of God, then he will seek to destroy your concept of who you are as a child of God. He can't do anything about your position in Christ, but if he can get you to believe it's not true, you will live as if it's not, even though it is. The two most important beliefs you possess are who God is and who you are as his child. Above all, Father, help me focus continually on who you are and who I am in Christ, and to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ.